You're listening to Super Power Up with multidimensional master, superpower expert, and former counterintelligence agent, Tonya Don Reckla. If you're ready to disrupt reality, then sit down, strap in, and prepare to experience the show that proves there is no spoon. Hello, everyone. This is Tonya Don Reckley, your superpower expert. And I I'm just have a big old grin on my face. I'm sure you can feel it and hear it. I, I, don't, even know. I don't even know how this is going to go because we just absolutely enjoy loving on each other. So you, you just get to hear us gush with each other for a little bit here today. But this woman is so incredibly delightful. I'm excited to share her with you. Um, but despite all of that, or in spite of all of that, or in addition to all of that, she it really truly walks her talk, right? She eats, breathes, and sleeps this stuff. She, she tests out theories and processes before bringing them to her clients. As you know, that's a big, big, big soapbox of mine, right? We're all about the due diligence and making people can do what they, making sure people can do what they say they can do. And when we're stepping into these spaces as thought leaders, spiritual leaders, um, you know, coaches, practitioners, whatever you want to call it, the change agents of the world, we're seeing big, big, big damage happening because People are hiring people who can't do what they claim. They might really, 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 really want to, and they may be great, but if if they don't have the aptitude, if they don't have the demonstrable kind of results that you're looking for, you you got to start being a little bit strict, folks. You got to be a little selfish with your brilliance. And be cautious about who you're you're getting into bed with. And so what I love about her is, again, she's delightful and yummy and goodness and, and all of that fun stuff we love. And she's got that real grounded foundation of, of doing it. And so today we're talking about how to step into being a spiritual leader, really, truly embodying. And it's not enough to know it, folks. It's not even enough to understand or believe it. You have to be willing to actually do it. And that's where the rubber meets the road. So, so we're going to get you some good tips today. Because we have the delightful, amazing, wonderful, yummy mm, Debbie Dashinger with us today, who um, I just imagine you'll be hearing more from her on my show because I can't help but gravitate to her time and time again. So please, please help me welcome Debbie to the show. Debbie, I love you. Ah, Tanya. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. I'm receiving over here during that whole thing. It was so delicious. Uh, yeah, I, the listeners are just going to have to give us a moment. Like, get a room, <laughs> folks, you know. We're cool <laughs> if they say in Yiddish. <laughs> I love it. We have big love on each other. And it's really easy between you and I. I feel like we're so in sync. And I appreciate, I don't have to say a lot, you're already there. Oh, beautiful. Be- yeah, it's rare, right? It's, it's you know, I, I tell people all the time, like, it's great. You know, we get accolades for what we created over here at Superpower Experts. But it was very selfish on our part because... You know, there's just, we just want to play in a particular way with people. And so it's really fun when it's easy and it's in synergy. So thank you for helping it be that way. Mm, My pleasure. It's the only (laughs) way to be. I think so. So let's jump right in and ask our pivotal question. What are your superpowers? Mm. Oh boy. That's such a good question. Okay. So I just want to reflect for a minute because there's some things, like I really think love is, is the biggest thing about who I am. I have a really huge heart. And I do really love people, which serves me very well. It serves me well in being a mentor to people in my programs and teaching because I see the greatness in them. Of course, part of my superpower is also seeing uh, their weaknesses and lovingly pointing them out, supporting them to get where they want. Mm -hmm. And also, um, yeah, so superpower for me, it actually is in mass visibility. Mm. Yeah, I was built for this. <laughs> and, uh, that's where my resonance has been, like since I'm a little girl, and I've experimented in so many ways out in my life to have a voice, to have a voice that lives out loud. Mm. And I've played around a lot of different areas with that. And ultimately, that's always where I play is mass visibility. Well, it's it's so much more powerful than even I think we realize because so few people come by that naturally. Um, I remember I interviewed somebody who who talked about how you know we're all in two businesses, you know whatever it is that we're doing, but also the the business of promoting that and um, like it or not, you know, want it or not, especially now with the internet and social media and everything else, there is this visibility component that paralyzes a lot of people, and so when you come by that naturally. 
it's such a beautiful gift. And it's exactly correct what you just said. And that's the question I like to ask people is if you've written a book, for example, then how could you not want visibility? so that people know about your book and you as an author and want to buy it. If you're an entrepreneur, a healer, a spiritual person, a business person, wherever you're doing your do out into the world, if you don't want visibility, why are you in business? Because that's a big part of it, right? Part of it is your gift and what you've created into the structure of your business. And the other part is you stepping into being the spokesperson for what it is you're putting out into the world. And for all of us, we are all broadcasting 24 <laughs> seven. We're our own broadcasters. So we have to be fully aligned with our message. We have to be fully aligned with the willingness to be visible out in the world. And here's what's great, Tanya. And I think it's really great. You get to heal. So mm. wherever there is that freeze, discomfort, I don't want to be there, I'd rather not, you get to heal. It's just part of your journey because stepping into it is going to bring that stuff up. And it's so good. It's so mm. good that you get to walk through it and get some support spiritually and emotionally so you can get to the other side and just really thrive there. Well, and, but let's be real about this it, it, because it's... It, it's easy to talk about and all this other stuff, but ultimately it's, it is so much easier to sit behind a computer screen. It's so much easier to, um, you know, be working on creating your program, like the prepare to prepare to prepare kind of component. Um, you, you know, I, I sat for a while and watched, um, my husband, Justin really master how to do this in a very heart centric, loving, connected, contributing way in the world. And he, we actually turned around and brought him back into our company because he's the only one I've seen doing it in a very methodical system process way, which, you know, that's my bread and butter. Um, but also adding in this component of really connecting with people. Mm -hmm. um, he is a master at the connecting in the virtual space, which, you know, that's the name of the game, right? It's, it's like, so he's my secret weapon. And it's, and I just kind of keep watching him and watching him and it's like, okay, okay, I get this because I'm the type of person and I know there's a lot of folks out there like me, I'm not going to do it if I don't know why I'm doing it. And if I don't have a, have a decent belief that it's going to work, right? I don't, I don't need to spin my wheels and waste my time. You know, I, I, I'm just not there anymore in my life. And so um, to see a process that I know has worked, but even with that, it's like you still have to kind of, no matter how out there you are, there's always another level of out there, right? Like we think, but I, did, but I already came out about the fact that I'm psychic or I already came out about this. Like how much more out there do I need to be, you know? And, and, but I love that you tied it back into, dude, this is a personal journey, folks. You know, like, like we tell people, use the playground for everything that it has to offer you because ultimately – no one else exists but you anyway, you might as well take advantage of the lessons, right? But it's so easy to make it about this. Oh my gosh, what are people going to think? What are people going to say? Am I doing this the right way? Da, ba, 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 ba. And, and ultimately, folks, those little pieces inside of you aren't doing you any favors, right? They're just not. They're set up to help you fail because they're comfortable where you're at. They don't want to move. Like, who, <laughs> you know, they may not love it, but they don't want to move. And so I love what Debbie's talking about because it's an it's an internal game that you're you just happen to be playing externally in the world right i mean that's that's kind of what it breaks down to life for all of us right now there's a million bells and whistles and gadgets and ways to do things <laughs> and it's like when you go in one of those restaurants let's say you, you go for chinese food and it says here's the lunch special pick one thing from section a one thing from section b and one thing from a. <laughs> boom you have lunch and this is like that. Like you have a plethora to choose from. Yeah. People do not have to do everything. And this is no. teach like you don't have to do the funnel, the webinar, the marketing, the social media, the blah, blah, blah. you know, it's like not a formula. I think mm. the most important thing about being a spiritual leader is to fully embrace how freaking awesome and different you are. Different mm. is sellable, by the way. It's the most sellable instead of being homogenous. Right, mm -hmm. into the crowd, and who needs that or wants that? But to stand out, and really own yourself, and fly your flag, and do your thing, and from that space, you know it resonates. <clears throat> so I was just sharing with Tanya before the show started that recently I have a radio show. I've been on air for eleven and a half years. 
my radio station burned down in the recent fires. And, uh, you know, it's shocking at the time. And at the same time, I felt extremely expanded about waiting. The universe always delivers. It's always mm. And I'm aligned fully for whatever this next journey is going to be. I don't know if they'll be able to rebuild. So I'm, I'm shuffling off to Buffalo here. I'm going to move on. Mm. And so I was just playing around with the space. And what got created actually in a week, which is a very short time, is I started doing everything on camera. And the lesson for me is, oh, that's my jam. I get it. So I've done great on radio. I've loved radio because of the master conversations, but I recognize this is even a healing for me to step in in this way, to be fully mm -hmm. visible and visual to everybody. And I mean, I did the first one on camera. I am telling you, my hair wasn't done. I look like crazy <laughs> in the gym. I don't care. I'm throwing this thing down on a video. Let's go, people. <laughs> and it's fantastic. You know, it's mm. still uh, the energy really reads. And that's part of the journey, too, is trying things, figuring out what works, what doesn't work. You never have to be perfect. Dare to suck. And you get so much feedback from what you do. So I just want to say the resonance with what we're talking about is being different and then picking the pieces that support your journey. And mm -hmm. sometimes if you're a little confused, like look at your human design, you know, it will tell you a ton or look at your astrology, your numerology or a combo platter. And it will really let you know like what you're here energetically to be and do. And the other piece of that that you talked about with your amazing husband, Justin, is about relationship. And so I know it has built my entire career. And I know for other people it has. I just had an interview. Uh, I do anthologies sometimes. I produce them out in the world. And I've got a new one coming out. I was vetting this guy, really amazing guy who works at NASA. and. He was saying, like, when he got out of the military, you'd think, you know, young, good-looking guy, really fit, great accolades, great resume. He could not get a phone call. Mm. He put out 300 resumes. And then there was somebody that he had done some private work for that opened the door. Mm. And now he's been at NASA, which is a dream job. So relationship not 300 resumes is what got him the job of his dreams. Oh, I love that you said that. I think we always downplay that. I want to dive into that a little bit more. We have to take a quick break. So stay with us because I want to dive into that point and really talk about how do you do that, right? How do you do that naturally, not come across smarmy and all these other things? I think that, um, you know, Debbie's authenticity is so incredibly obvious. Um, but it doesn't come by, you know, not all of us come by it naturally. So, so we'll talk more about that too. So stay with us, folks. We're talking today to Deb Debbie Dashinger about how to step into being a spiritual leader. And we will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Are you here to change the world? Do you talk about things like vibration, frequency, awakening, and consciousness? Are you pretty sure you have superpowers? The Superpower Net is unlike normal coaching programs and conscious communities. We provide training, intuitive guidance, peer-to-peer -peer learning, intensive one-on-one -on -one coaching, and a high vibrational network of people just like you. When you join the Net, you you get 24-7 access to a collaborative group of people who support you as you master your personal power and unlock your superpowers. If you are ready to use your superpowers to change the world, then join the Superpower Net today. Visit superpowerexperts.com slash the net to learn more. Awesome. We're back with the Superpower Up podcast. You're listening today to me, Tonya Don Regla, and my absolutely fantastic guest, Debbie Dashinger. And we're talking about being a you know step how to step into being a spiritual leader um but not you know folks folks i you know if you if you've listened to us for more than two seconds at the beginning of the show you know that we're really truly about what we're about like we we're not mincing words we're not pretending it's something it's not but we're also not gonna just leave you hanging and we want to make sure that you know that that this is doable you know we've done it we've guided many 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 probably together multiple thousands of people into doing it um so trust me when I say we know, we know what we're talking about here and you can 
implement it. It is all implementable. And so before the break, Debbie was talking about relationship. And I really want to piggyback off of that. You know, Justin and I coming out of government, we built a corporate counterintelligence firm. And we, for seven years of business, we never marketed anything ever. It was all relationships and reputation. And what that did for us is we built two different six-figure businesses from scratch based on relationships and trust. And only in the last year have we even started tiptoeing into traditional marketing and everything else. And I think a lot of people kind of jump the gun there, right? Like, like you got to get out there and stuff, but you have to be willing to connect. You have to be willing to contribute to other people. That's why I love podcasting because, you know, we train our hosts, give back first, right? Uplift others first, get, get good with that, get comfortable with that before you ever ask anybody for anything. Like make sure that that, I mean, that, that's really a, that's a part of a lot of cultural traditions Eh, not so much with ours, but that it's a really great technique to implement. Um, and that's an easy way to start. Like, like I get, you know, it's, it's a jungle out there, you know, you get all these automated messages on LinkedIn and everything else, but, but I'll tell you what cuts through all the chatter is just connecting and saying, Hey, how can I contribute to you? How can I contribute to your success? How can I be of service? Whatever words work for you. It's a phenomenal way to open dialogue. That's different than, Oh, this person is trying to get something from me. Um, and it opens the door. Hey, I, I have all these shows. Are you, or do you feel like you're a good fit for any of them? Or I have a lot of connections in my network that also have shows. You know, people are always looking for guests. I'm happy to make those connections. Whatever the case may be, but co- come at it from the place of you have something to offer, you know, that, and, and you don't need anything from people and watch what happens in those relationships. That's one of my biggest tricks. Debbie, how do you go about it? Mm. So can I ask you a funny question? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Tanya, if you and Justin built two six-figure businesses doing that, does it mean that it's then a 12-figure business? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's tell that story. Ooh, I like the reframe. We built a 12-figure business. Yes, that is exactly what it is. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> See, she's brilliant, folks. I'm telling you. She I'm is doing brilliant. the math over here. Like, I'm going to hire this woman. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I love this conversation. And I want to be so transparent and say, look, I've done everything wrong. I really have. So when I say this, like, I, if, if you've done this or are doing this, I've been there. Because when I first started out as an entrepreneur, we all know, like, if you don't got the money, you know, you don't got the honey, it ain't going on. And that's how you sustain yourself when you're in business for yourself. I was, I, was, I felt desperate a lot. So I would go to functions and, or be connected with people on email or social media. And it was a me, me, me game. Here's what I do. Here's what I did. Here's how much I sell. Like there was no filter. And I even had people telling me, who were way wiser than I, Mm, it's not going to get you anywhere. And I couldn't stop. It was like, I had a syndrome, you know, some kind of Tourette syndrome. It's like a sickness. (laughs) (laughs) Die for me, please. And so I learned because I literally, I just saw patterns happening and I realized, oh, like I became friendly with that person. And I actually had no intention of business or selling and look what got created. Okay. And it happened enough times. And of course I started making enough money and the, all that energy, that anxiety went down. Uh, also there had to be a lot of healing around that, that energy as well. And some of the things that I recommend, and this is what I do, and these are very simple, by the way, this is not rocket science. The first thing I recommend is presence. When we're worried about our business, our money, are they going to buy? Are they going to like me? Are they going to want what I have? Then we're totally not present with another human being. And one of the ways that we can get pregnant, oh my God, this is a different conversation. (laughs) Is that that a Freudian slip there? (laughs) It is so funny. That's on our sex, love, and superpowers show. (laughs) (laughs) Or one of the ways to avoid getting pregnant, but being present is like literally stop and look. And you can do this as I'm saying, what I'm saying, look in the room, the space, the car you're in right now. I literally notice something. 
I'm looking at a plant right now. I'm putting my energy into that beautiful plant, the leaves and the stems. My energy is totally shifted already. I'm going to turn and there's like a Chinese piece on the wall. I, my energy is in it. There's a picture, beautiful picture. Like I'm literally connecting my energy. We are all energy, right? We are all one anyway. If we were to see the matrix and slow everything down or have the gift of seeing all this at a molecular level, we would know we are that anyway. So you're just allowing yourself to be what you actually be. And the second part is a breathing would be lovely. And the third is to take a moment to lower your barriers. And I would recommend whether you have to use your hands or just imagine from the top of your head with your hands going all the way down your body, lowering your body, because being vulnerable is so potent. Present, vulnerable, now you're ready. And when you engage with another person, it's awesome to be curious, to really be wondering who they are, what they do. Maybe you don't want to know what they do or what, what are their hobbies? What do they love? What kind of day did they have? What are their dreams? Things like that, that are real connectors. And people love to talk about themselves and they'll be very moved when you do that. Uh, I want to tell you a, a story about somebody to illustrate something that never worked. There was a woman, she's actually in a mastermind with me, and I sort of know what she does, and I sort of know she's kind of big out in the world with what she does. And interestingly enough, she never spoke to me. The only time I think I sat next to her in a lunch and she pretty much talked about herself and needed a lot of stuff for her business. And I remember serving her, sharing a lot of things that could help her. And thereafter, she would have her assistant email me that she wanted to come on my radio show. When was there an opening on my radio show? If I walked into a workshop and she was there, she immediately came up and said, are there any openings on your radio show? And my answer was always no. I had no relationship with this woman. I didn't even know she was a fit for my show. And I felt so affronted that that was her whole game. What's very interesting is I was at another workshop. So this is fast forward like a year or so. And we were in a whole different space. And we sat down together in a bar while I was working on my computer. And she just started opening up and talking. And you know what? She's brilliant. Like she's amazing. And I looked at her and I had to say, do you mind if I share something? Because I think this is really important loving feedback. You're amazing. And if anybody else out in the world is having the experience I just did with you, they will never know who you are. And I know you've been hired by a lot of people. And I know you speak all over, but imagine, imagine if you connected with others instead of asking them for stuff. And imagine if you allowed them at a heart level, at a brilliance level to just get to know you, what would be possible, what you would create out in the world. I have to tell you that because the way you were coming to me, I was never going to say yes. And now that I've sat with you, I feel like a hell yes, because I really get who you are. So it was mm. a really pivotal moment for her and for me to be able to express that to her. So the elements, again, that I recommend are to just allow yourself to connect with things, people, whatever, you know, energy so easy to put onto something or to pull from something, both ways are great. And also to breathe and to lower your barriers so you're fully, fully, fully present and to be curious about another. One of the things you can do when somebody shares, it's perfectly fine to say, I'd love to know what you do because I might know some referrals for you. Mm -hmm. and that's awesome. Like who doesn't want that? What a nice gift. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, that I like your version too. And folks, folks, you can come up with your own version. You know, Debbie and I both shared ours. Like, you know, I was offered to contribute to their success. Debbie's Debbie's interested in listening and seeing if she can make referrals, but make it your own. You can't you can't be us, you know, but use us if you want to initially. Try try it on, try our languaging if you don't really know what to say. 
But the, the point about being present with other people is so incredibly powerful. And, and I get it, folks. I know that a lot of times when you're starting off in this work, sometimes you don't know how you're paying your bills. You don't know how you're feeding your family. Like there are real needs pressing at your consciousness. But, you know, we, we were hesitant to set that aside for a moment to connect. And what if the answer, the opportunity that you're seeking actually lies in your willingness to not worry about it, right? Worry is the biggest time and energy suck of all. And if you're worrying about that when you're trying to quote unquote be present with somebody or talking with them, it's so incredibly obvious. You know, Debbie said earlier, you know, I don't remember if we were on the call or before the call about, you know, and it's something that I shared too, is the, is the idea that we're constantly broadcasting. We're broadcasting all of our insecurities. If those are running full time in the background, we can't help but, and those of us who are, you know, have superpowers are and are attuned, we feel it, that that's that repulsion, right? That's, it's like magnets repelling each other. And nobody wants to do anything with you if there's this neediness, this desperation. And it's challenging when, you don't know how you're going to pay your bills, right? So, you know, that's something you have to be willing to reconcile. We're not going to sit here and pretend that it's all rainbows and unicorns. Like you have to be willing to address the things. If you truly can't pay your bills, you know, either if, if you're very adept at closing a client, go close a client. If you're not, come up with some way to pay your bills. Maybe you have a skill set that you used to do, but it feels like going backwards. If you, if you go back into that, mm -hmm. there is no shame. It took me three attempts to leave government fully. Mm -hmm. Three, right? Three. It's like stepped out and then went running back, stepped out. And even then when Justin and I stepped out together, we still maintained some of our government contracts as a segue, which allowed it, us to fund our business, right? So I, I, I'm a huge, 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 huge advocate for calling shit out and saying, don't quit your job until you have a plan. A viable plan, not a la nah, leaping. You know, if I just sit on my couch and, and visualize, then the opportunities will come to me. It's not how this works. And so there, there are some components of the attractiveness and the energy and the spiritual element of, of surrender. And you have to take guided action. And it's really, it's so much easier to do that if your basic needs are being met, right? It's Maslow's hierarchy. Do not ignore those because eventually they'll just eat away at you and they're going to erode your ability to create relationship. Um, so, the, so there is some reality type stuff, even in the woo-woo work, folks. So, so let's make sure that we're, we're not kind of flying off, um, you know, half cocked into the, the atmosphere and the, and the metaphysics of it all, but really are willing to recognize that we play here, right? And there are different ways to play here. But don't, don't do yourself a disservice by thinking that you're going to be able to go into these events and these networking opportunities, you know, screaming of your own desperation because you don't know what you're doing or you don't know how to pay your bills and, and, and not take some ownership of that and really do what Debbie's talking about, which is like, just take a breath. Give yourself a moment to connect because there's true magic on the other side of that. You said something so important and you were talking about closing sales. I'm so glad you brought that up, Tanya, because the being curious about the other person is exactly how to close the sale. So, <laughs> it seems so ironic, right? <laughs> yes. You know, it's so easy to want to get on a call with somebody who might be interested in your service and just say, well, I do this and I do that and it costs this and it costs that and this is what it takes and what do you think? <laughs> you know, yeah. and most people are going to feel completely unheard and overwhelmed. But actually, when we take the time to say, like, who are you? What's going on? Mm. Why, doesn't Why doesn't that work? What is it costing you? What would it mean if you could have this in your life? You know, and then feed back to them what you're hearing so they know they're being heard. If you spend enough time doing that, you will create the most amazing connection for the next piece of the conversation. Mm, right? Beautiful. And the pieces with that, once you get to the, well, here's how I can help you. Here are my recommendations. Mm. And then even in that, you're not just plowing through, this is what you might do, mm -hmm. but adjusting that and saying, what would stop you from doing that? Why would that <laughs> right? really investigate and exploring and allowing them to, to share. So that's such a big point. And, and, you know, I teach this stuff because uh, the, the work I do out in the world is I teach people, I coach how to write a book. I have a company that takes books to a guaranteed international bestseller, and I help people 
to get interviewed. So right now I'm running a class. I've, I've got a lovely program with people. We do, do it through Zoom. And I'm teaching them everything, the A to Z, to getting booked on podcasts and radio shows really easily, but also how to be amazing. And one of the first things I teach them, of course, is their pitch letter and their press kit. And I have this great example because I had a gentleman who came to me and said, I want to work with you. I want to be coached, but I got to tell you, I don't believe in getting booked on these shows. I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll bite. <laughs> I'll do that. Oh, <laughs> did he, he had no I idea said, what he was getting into. <laughs> he's like, I submitted myself 10 different times and nobody, nobody booked me. I'm like, please. Um, I know what was part of each party and that was you. So why don't you send me what you're sending out so I could take a look and I'll let mm. you know. We started working together. I saw his email, which basically said, dear X, my name is Frank. I wrote X book. I'm about to do a launch. I'd love to get some support. If you want to know more about me, here's my website. Mm -hmm. like, what? It was so <laughs> much wrong. <laughs> I teach the class through his faux pas, but of course, mm. You have to do is get curious who's the host what's their show listen to their show mm -hmm. know out. is it a fit and then address them personally like dear tanya superpower oh my god how brilliant love your show i heard when you had so and so on and i got this piece out of it golden nugget mm. here's who i am by the way this is what i can provide for your listeners this is the content and value and conversation and here's my press media kit. And should you want to know more? And then I provide every piece of contact. So it's uber, super easy, period. You never ask someone to look at your website because none of us have that time to handhold and go to that length. And you have to understand, you may be up against a lot of people, right? You may mm -hmm. be up against shows that are fully booked or they have big names come on. You have to show up professionally and interested in the other person. Mm. I love it. I love you. I love everything you're talking about. Um, and I, you know, we need to wrap up, but I want to, I want to just invite you all to, for, for one other little step that that's completely relative to what Debbie was talking about. And, and I think, I think it's important and I don't think we explored enough, but, but the idea of like, know who your allies are, you know, mm -hmm. referral partners are amazing. Um, but, but I see too often like these gatherings mm -hmm. of of leaders and, and events and stuff and everybody's trying to pitch everybody and it's like you know i'm an incredible connector an incredible networker and if you come at me trying to sell me on your stuff then then i'm, I'm probably not going to be doing that for you however if, if, if we're allies like allies almost always turn into some sort of an arrangement win-win-win solution either a referral agreement or clients like i've started off with people's allies and we mutually refer and all this other stuff and it's like wait 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 i wait, I need that now. Like our business is ready for that. Can you, can, can we bring you in? Because now we have this mutual relationship um, and it's so much more po powerful. So stop pitching to your peers, right? Your peers aren't your clients typically. Like know who the potential clients are, know who your allies are, know who, you know, just kind of start being real sensitive to that. And if, and if you operate how Debbie's suggesting, it's easy because you know about them. You know they're, where they're sitting. You, you know what they do. And you've got a clear understanding because you were curious and you asked questions, right? We love the Socratic method over here. Mm -hmm. um, Debbie, is, is, is sending them over to your website, Debbie Dashinger, still the best place to send them? Yeah, that would be great. I have a little gift for everybody. Maybe Aww. a little gift. <laughs> so Beautiful. if you want to learn how to get free publicity right now, my gift to you, um, yeah, you just click right there. And we'll send it to your email address. And it's an awesome report with a lot of great information. So you could get started promoting. We love gifts. Your PR. I love it. <laughs> well, let's, let's, I'm going to spell that for folks who are listening. Thank it's D-E-B-B-I-D-A, -B -B -D excuse me. So let me start over. D-E-B-B-I-D-A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. I could spell that in army lingo if y'all want, but yeah. I'll save you, save you the headache. <laughs> you want me to do it? I'm going to do yeah. it. Delta Echo, Bravo, Bravo, Indigo, Delta, Alpha, Charlie, Hotel, Indigo, November, Golf, Echo, Romeo.com. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. My drill sergeants would be so proud. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Debbie, like I said, I love you. I thank you so much for coming on the show. Folks, go check her out. Go get her gifts. Just hang out with this woman. If you see that she's going to be at events or anything, take a moment to just kind of 
co- connect with her, right? She's, she's basically just giving you this secret sauce for how to connect with her, right? Not rocket science individuals. So this is, this is a, this is very, very easy stuff when you open your heart to it. And when you step into that space of being a spiritual leader, Debbie, are there any last thoughts you want to share with our listeners before we cut off here? I just want to support everybody to to do it. It's okay. Whatever your hesitance or resistance or concerns are, do it. You'll heal along the way. I think that's Mm. the best best method. Time is fast. Don't wait. And you probably will find once you step into it. And by the way, I'm not a fake it till you make it person. I think that's BS. (laughs) Step into the future you already are and be it. Right. And the best will just come and you'll often find Mm. I had this to start with and I didn't even know. Oh, and you're so wonderful. Thank you again so much. Like I said, I anticipate uh, having you back on the show for more yummy conversations. And as always, we are here to support you also. So make sure you let us know how we can contribute to you. Um, and to all of you out there, we so appreciate your loyalty. And, and um, the show is, is really uh, taken on a life of its own. And, and you're all a part of that. And so we appreciate it. And we're excited to continue on this journey with you. So to all of you out there, go out, be spiritual leaders, be more fully who you are. And of course, uncover your superpowers and change the world. Take care, everyone. We love you all. Bye-bye. Are you ready to discover your superpowers? Go now to superpowerexperts.com and take the superpower quiz today.